there's a cartoon that somebody fished up from 1934 from the Chicago, Chicago Tribune. I hope you can put that up for people. It's a larger cartoon, but I blew this part up. This is what the guy was writing in the bottom left-hand side. <clears throat> Plan of action for the U.S. Spend, 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 it says. Under the guise of recovery. <laughs> Bust the government. Blame the capitalists for the failure. Junk the Constitution and declare a dictatorship. From 1934, and yes, it's displayed on the screen. 1934, John. Can, can you imagine? This was, this. Yeah, I, I don't need to remind you, this is the year that Technocracy, Inc. was formed. <laughs> and, this, and this was their plan then, and this is their plan today. Yeah, and off to the left, this. it says it worked in Russia. <laughs> so... We see, you know, today we look at the economy. What's going on? You know, why is why is everything like so crazy? They're doing the same thing today to try and kill off communism. I mean, kill off capitalism. In fact, I, I printed an article. I wrote an article the other day that referenced a press release, okay, by the United Nations head person on climate change policy. Her name is Christiana Figueres. She's a big mucky muck at the UN. She said in a press conference, uh, and she's, she's like Mrs. Agenda 21 Sustainable Development for the UN. So when she speaks, it's with authority. She says, quote, this is the first time in the history of mankind that we are setting ourselves the task of intentionally, within a defined period of time, to change the economic development model that has been reigning for at least 150 years since the Industrial Revolution. That will not happen overnight, and it will not happen at a single conference on climate change. It is a process because of the depth of the transformation. Close quote direct quote this woman if read between the lines and actually you don't have to read too hard between the lines this woman is saying capitalism is in the crosshairs of the sniper's rifle folks to kill it all together well that's what this cartoon says yes these people want to kill capitalism once and for all and the question is what will they replace it with well they've already defined their green economy which i suggest is pure unadulterated technocracy from the 1930s reinvented and reintroduced by the trilateral commission starting in 1973. i think the handwriting is just on the wall and here's what technocracy looks like in the end people go in the hopper they go through the gears and they come out all looking the same. Little robots to serve the scientific dictatorship because the system says to, and you must obey the system. We gotta make this into a t-shirt. <laughs> that would make a nice t-shirt, wouldn't it? Yeah. Technocracy, technocracy unveiled. And here's a copy of uh, a front cover of one of the magazine of technocracy back then uh, called the Technocrats Magazine. And uh, they say there's 30 million out of work in 1933, or uh, that's, that's, that's option A. Option B is 20,000 a year income for every family, which, you see, this was a utopia that they were offering. They believed their economic system would be a utopia. And what, what vintage is this comic book at 15 cents? <laughs> yeah, 15 cents. It was, it was actually a serious magazine to them. But... Um, they looked at it as a revolution without bloodshed, and they hated politicians. They even they even encouraged uh, Roosevelt when he got elected to just declare himself dictator so he could implement technocracy. There was a book written on it. Actually said that. And then you have their you know their engineers are detailed that you have their organizational chart that they drew up even back then where there was going to be a continental director, not a president. No, no. No, no elected president, there'd be a continental director with a continental board, 
And that continental board would be responsible for various areas of societies, and they would set up these functional um, uh, specifications for things like healthcare and education and all these other things. And they had it all organized out. Man, all you got to do is sign the sign here on the bottom line, man. We'll do it. We're ready. We, we got our ducks lined up in a row. We, we can do this overnight. All you got to do is say yes. And that's what they wanted you to say. Well, here's the problem that the Trilateral Commission had with this whole thing. In any, in any case, Brzezinski aside, all these other scholars aside, a virus has no contagion unless there are hosts who are able to carry it to other organisms who can be affected. You know, think about Ebola, for instance, or bird flu. Yes. You have to have a contagion aspect to it in order to spread the virus. Otherwise, one person gets it and he may die, but that's just one person. So... The idea of technocracy had to have a contagion, and here's how it happened. You have the Trilateral Commission plus technology. They had the idea. The United Nations became the contagion for them. The control over the United Nations and influence goes back in the Rockefeller families to when it was first founded. They act, actually, it sits on land that was donated by, by John D. Rockefeller. So... You've got the United Nations then turning around and doing all these other things, things like the Rio Earth Summit 1992, um, Agenda 21 document that came out of this, the ICLE organization that reforms local communities, and um, there's a whole raft of things. There was no room to even put this all on one, on one chart, but the United Nations became the contagion for the idea, and they spread it to all of the world. And so some of the examples of the trilateral technology, uh, technocracy action plan, Agenda 21 plays in prominently. It's a plan to change the world. This is not, this is not a conspiracy. And by the way, just for, for the sake of show and tell, I have my official book right here. Excellent. This is not a conspiracy. This is a book. <laughs> Where would you get that book? I bought it off of Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and you can too. Excellent. You can, you can get your own copy. <laughs> Folks, I'm telling you, this is not a conspiracy. There's, you know, there's a total of 294 pages on how the United Nations wants to transform the world into a technocracy. And if you think that's enough, there have been other books written about it, like this was written in the United States, Sustainable America. This was kind of the digested version for America. And then these people came out with all these extra rules. This was the, the bylaws, if you will, of the Agenda 21 booklet. This is it, folks. This is it, the Global Biodiversity Assessment. Look how thick this book is. I'll tell you how heavy it is. It, it almost makes my wrist sore. 1140 pages of what has to happen to the world to make sustainable development happen. Global biodiversity words, assessment. Can, you can get this off of Amazon too. And if that weren't enough, uh, if that weren't enough for you, here's another one. This is from the same organization from UNEP. That other book's from UNEP, by the way, too, UNEP. This one will just get you. Cultural and Spiritual Values of Biodiversity. Oh, boy. You, this is no slouch book either. This is I got this book in hardback. Wasn't that cool? Did you go to Amazon for that one, too? I did. <laughs> this, book is only, this, is, this book is only 725 pages long. Oh, is that all? This is, this is an easy read. <laughs> 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 all right. Okay, so... The, we're not. We're dealing with facts here. Not, there's no conspiracy, folks. Yeah, psychopaths are real serious people. people. say, "Oh, you're just out of your mind." The Jenna 21. Are you crazy? I'd like to get this book and hit him with it. You know. Yeah, me too. Is that? Did that? Was that just a myth? Or did nothing happen? Right? I hit you with this book, but you didn't feel it, right? Because it wasn't a book. Right. <laughs> Right. Okay. So I like to borrow about. Fifi and load up the Bombay with all of those books and just drop them okay. on people. Here's the here's the timeline of events. Here's how it happened. In 1987, the United Nations convened the so-called Brundtland Commission to study all this stuff. 1987. Mm -hmm. The book that was produced out of that was this book, Our Common Future. It was written by the commission itself, 
The chairman of the commission uh, was Gro Brundtland from the Netherlands. Uh, she was an environmental person as well as a prime minister, uniquely suited to head the Brundtland Commission. They wrote this book, as I said, Our Common Future. This book became the singular book, according to the United Nations itself, that laid the way, made the way for the Rio conference in 1992 that produced Agenda 21. They credit Gro Brundtland as being the principal architect and driver of Agenda 21 and sustainable development. And this was the book where the word sustainable development was first popularized. Gro Brundtland was a member of the Trilateral Commission. Let I'm that sink for just a second. Mm -hmm. She was a member of the Trilateral Commission. Mm -hmm. In 1992, the, of course, the Earth Summit took place the U, at the UN Rio Conference on Environment and Development. George H.W. Bush signed it, not all of it, but he signed it as a ceremonial thing. In 1993, March 3rd, Bill Clinton and Al Gore, both members of the Trilateral Commission, out of the blue, announced the National Partnership for Reinventing Government. National oh. Partnership for Reinventing Government. Now, there's a title for you. That's what they called it. And then in 1993, the Agenda 21 book was published. That's the big orange book that I just held up. Yeah. This little baby right here. Yep. Yeah. And then in 1993, a little bit later, Clinton signs an executive order, 12852, the President's Council on Sustainable Development. He institutionalized it in the United States through an executive order. Thanks, Bill. Remember, Bill is a member of the Trilateral Commission again. In 1993, three months later, he signed another executive order, 12862, the National Performance Review slash Reinventing Government. He institutionalized the reinvention of government. Institutionalized it. That's All members... All members along the way that touched Agenda 21 were all members of the Trilateral Commission. This is beyond stunning, John. This it's is absolutely over the top. But the facts are the facts. In 1997, the U.S. the U.S. Conference of Mayors created the Joint Center for sustainable communities. This was another program under Clinton that brought ICLEI into our country and policies from Agenda 21 to turn America's cities, towns, and counties into communities of sustainable development. Top down, Congress was nowhere to be seen. They, they had no part in this. And in 2001, the National Governors Association endorses smart growth now smart growth was merely a change of name from agenda 21 because they were getting kickback on that in those days and they said well, let's just change the name let's not call it agenda 21 let's call it smart growth <laughs> so the national governors association endorses smart growth and just as a side note i will mention that the copyright notice on the Common Core State Standards document lists the National Governors Association as the co-copyright holder. So it's a small world, small world. It's an NGO. It has nothing to do, the, the, N, the, the National Governors Association has nothing to do with the government whatsoever. It's a private organization. Uh -huh. Okay, oh. sustainable development, you know, people kind of seen some of this stuff. It's the environment and economy and community all mushed together to create the sustainable society. And, and I'm telling you, by and large, it's just a absolute con. Al Gore has been in the middle of this for a long time. You remember the In Inconvenient Truth DVD he made? Yes. Crisis of global warming, and now he wants to punish all, all of us deniers. Uh, Shame on you. I mean, is he going to spank us? Is he going to, you know, take away our bank accounts? What's he going to do to punish us, you know? And, you know, we've seen cap and trade. There's another thing Al Gore is up to his eyeballs in. It's all over the world today. 